Good afternoon, YouTube viewers. Miles Cook here from with, that is, Miles on Cars. We're at the GT500 North American Track Tour for the 2020 Shelby GT500 Mustang. I guess maybe it's not really a Mustang, it's a Shelby. So in any case, it's definitely a Shelby GT500. So we are here in their booth that they've got set up, and we're gonna go do a little brief overview on the car here and we're going to also walk around towards the back here and look at all the displays and I will stop for a second on all those and you can take a look at them and then if you want to read the uh, information and the graphics and all the verbiage that are on those those um, those uh, displays in the back here you can just pause the video and read all that stuff and I'll try to give you a real good look at all that so anyway this is a GT500 this is a carbon fiber car. There are a number of different options in terms of packages. There's a performance pack with the gurney wing, and uh, there's a, a high-tech pack, and then there's also this carbon fiber pack that has all kinds of different aero in the front, all kinds of really, uh, really radical stuff. But the two main features of the carbon fiber pack is the rear seat delete and the what this car has here which is the which are the carbon fiber wheels and so um, we're gonna do a little walk around here and you can uh, have a look at these have a look at this particular car we did a ride and drive we uh, ran them down the drag strip we uh, only got to do two runs but that was okay that was kinda of fun they weren't timed runs the word on the street is these cars are gonna be running high tens 1080s around that elapsed time upwards of 130 miles an hour we were just going down the track and uh, saw 128 miles an hour no problem and then we went out and did a little open track work on um, on the road course they have here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway and uh, we did sort of a lead and follow with some of their uh, instructors and whatnot and that was pretty fun although I uh, got stuck behind somebody that wasn't going as fast as I would have liked but what are you gonna do all right, so this is the, there's two reds in the GT500. There's race red and then this color here, which is a little darker. Not 100% sure what the name of this color is. I can look it up. Uh, you'll be able to look it up and find that, no problem. But let's do a walk around on this and you can uh, have a look. But the, the carbon fiber wheels are just absolutely insanely beautiful. Very similar to what's on the GT350s. Um, although I think these are, I think they're a larger diameter. They're 20 inch. I'm not 100% sure on the, I think the GT350R carbon fiber wheels are 19 inch. So anyway, like I said, this is a carbon fiber car with the wheels and um, the, uh, the big wing on the back and the rear seat delete. So continue down here. can show you the uh, display here this kind of shows the the kind of meat and potatoes of this this car 760 horsepower supercharged cross plane crank v8 so this does not have the flat plane crank like the gt350s so it doesn't rev quite as high as the gt3 you know it's only 7500 rpm red line rather than the 350 which i believe is 8200 and then the real big news on these cars one of the big things is the seven speed dual clutch and it is unbelievable how well it works. They were giving people uh, laps. They took people for laps in, these, in the car with one of their instructors. And I looked over at the driver and said, you're not even using the paddles, are you? He goes, nope, everything is just being done automatically. All these cars will have the seven speed dual clutch, no three pedal in the GT500. If you want three pedals, get a regular Coyote 5.0 or a Bullet or a, uh, a PP2 Coyote or a G3, GT350. So these cars will not have three pedals. So this is a nice, God, I need to find out what this color is. But anyway, it's not race red. It's a little darker than race red. I believe there's a total of 11 colors available. There's gonna be three shades of blue, two red, white, black, silver, and I believe um, a gray. 
There's, I think ingot silver is one of the colors. I'm sure the color palette is available you know, anywhere online right now for these cars. So I'm gonna walk around over here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a real, an entire walk around, but I'll do the best I can. And uh, to show you what, uh, what this is all about. So they have a bunch of other cars here too, but we're gonna concentrate on the 500. Um, yeah, this is not working that great, but at least you can see what it is. And I'll uh, back up again to the, to the overall shot. The other cars here include a GT350. Uh, the car they have here is an R, a red one. It's right over there. And then we got this 67 GT500 here. It's a Brittany Blue car. Uh, automatic. I drove up with one of the people that, that I drove up with a friend of mine that uh, his friend owns this car. And so we drove up from LA bringing that on a trailer. And uh, here's a new, uh, this is the new EcoBoost, high performance 2.3 EcoBoost car that basically they're going to be fitting this with the engine from the f now no longer in production Focus RS. So these are really cool. Um, so it's kind of like a, a high performance EcoBoost. So what they were saying during the presentation, there's basically nine different Mustangs available. So I was doing the math in my head so that if you do the base EcoBoost and then this car, that's two, you got the regular GT, Coyote 5.0, and then there's the PP1 and PP2 packs. And then there's also the Bullet. So that's four plus the two four cylinder cars, that's six. And then you have the GT350 and GT350R, that's seven and eight and the GT500 is nine. So there's nine different Mustangs available now from the base EcoBoost on up to the GT500. So we'll show you a little bit of this. It's got this old style, old school style, high performance 2.3 liter emblem that kind of reminds you of the, of the uh, Keiko 289 emblems on the early cars, like a 65.6. And I think Oh, and this is available. These are available with either the six-speed manual or a ten-speed automatic. So, EcoBoost, MagnaRide, Torsen 355 gear, 19-inch wheels, the front splitter and belly pan, and the metallic gray hood stripes. So these are these are pretty cool. If you're if you're into the four-cylinder stuff, then <laughs> couldn't go wrong with one of these. So, all right. pause here for a second we'll be right back all right so we're back here this is the gt350r i'd mentioned this also has the carbon fiber wheels and uh, here's the little plaque on it flat plane crank like i mentioned and um, take a look at the wheels on these these are uh I'm trying to get the yeah, these are 19. So this is a 19-inch diameter wheel on the 350. The carbon fiber wheels on the GT500, those are 20s. I'll go back and look at the tire size on those in a minute. Here's a 28, 2019 Bullet. They're going to do these, I guess, through 19, 2020. I'm not 100% sure, but they're available now. Very cool car. All six-speed manuals. All the Bullet cars are manual only, no automatics in a Bullet. And so those are, um, those are pretty cool. Here's a nice shot of the Brittany Blue GT500 that was brought up here from, uh, from Los Angeles. And um, super original car, it's automatic. And uh, it was here, it's here to show everybody what the first GT500s were. So let's go back here a little bit and we'll spend a moment here on the wheels on this car. Like I said, these are 20s all around, 20 inch diameter. And so the front tire size is a it's a uh, 30530ZR20. A 305 on the front. I think that would give you enough grip. And then the rear is, I believe the rears are 315s. It's a 31530ZR20. These are specific uh, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. I was talking to one of the reps from Michelin here, and she said that they're, you know, they were really uh, really happy to be involved with this project on you know doing developing the tires specifically for these cars specifically for the gt500 so that's a good thing to know about so there's the overview of the car so we're going to walk back here and i'm going to show you some of this other stuff that's uh pretty cool and like i said i think what you can do here is i will 
take a moment to show you these different things and you can pause the video to read what uh, what's on here to read the to read the verbiage which is very uh, great and really really informational really good stuff so this is all about chassis suspension brakes um, all the all the uh, all the aerodynamics all that kind of good stuff And then they, show, they talked about the brakes earlier. It's a 16-inch rotor with a Brembo caliper. So the 16.5-inch rotor is a larger diameter than the original 15-inch wheel on a GT500. So they, they made, a, made a note of that. And not only that, the, brake, the, the, the width of the brake rotor is wider than the E7015 tire that came on you know, early Shelby Mustangs and other other Mustangs, you know, a, a 15 inch diameter wheel with a 70 series tire, although most cars back in those days had a 14 inch wheel. So now we've got a brakes with a 16 inch rotor. So that's progress for you. So let's walk over here to sort of the engine department. Supercharged power. This shows talks about the half shafts this is you know getting out getting power to the ground the half shafts the hubs the torsion differential uh the gt500s are going to have 373 gears here's another display with the supercharger and the cylinder heads um you can again stop this for a moment if you want to read the verbiage on here which is really uh really great information so that's something to i would certainly encourage all of you out there to do to stop stop the video to read this and zoom in on it so and then so that's the cylinder head and the supercharger. Here's another display with with the oil pan, piston and rod, and looks like an oil catch can. So just all kinds of high tech stuff on these cars. Really, really awesome. So and behind me here is the the seven speed dual clutch, the Tramec dual clutch seven speed uh, automatic that basically has the paddles, or you can even we were out doing laps in the car and the driver wasn't even using the paddles. Everything was just being done automatically. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff. So here's a little verbiage on the, on the dual clutch. If you want to pause it for a minute, you can take a look at that. And now this is a very cool display here because this shows the ratios in the, in the dual clutch, which are interesting to read. Um, I was studying those for a minute. It's kind of, kind of interesting. There's no one-to-one -one, uh, gear ratio. So they go from 109 and fourth, and then fifth, sixth, and seventh are all overdrive ratios. So 0 0.86, 0 0.68, 0 0.55, that's a pretty tall overdrive. So it's a 373 gear in the back, and the 0.55, you can multiply 373, 3.73 times 0.558, and you'll get the final drive ratio for cruising down the highway in seventh gear. And as you can imagine, you know, it'll be cruise long just fine. So that's a pretty neat uh that's a neat graphic there thought i'd spend a moment on that i think it's the same on this side yeah so it's really cool to show the ratios and so you can uh pause and study that and then here's another here's another display talking about the engine um just all kinds of great information here um i would read it but again you can just pause it if you want and stop and stop the video and read it for yourself 2.65 liter supercharger which is really interesting, they pointed out, you know, the EcoBoost is a 2.3 liter engine. The GT500's got a 2.65 liter supercharger on top of the 5.2 liter engine. So, pretty interesting. 11 quarts of oil, so it's gonna be a, uh, a fairly pricey oil change, but no worries, right, on a brand new GT500. So that's a very interesting uh, display to look at. And uh, this is the same over here same display so we said and here's a nice uh, ver, uh, display of one of the of a complete engine so that's pretty cool we'll do a little walk around on that shows the exhaust I mean it's basically a you know basically a um, they're basically custom headers right there on in a in a production car so it's Pretty, pretty awesome. So, you know, it kind of looks like a Coyote, you know, powered by Ford, but this is, this is beyond a Coyote in a lot of different ways. You can read 
all kinds of different stories about uh, this this engine. One of them is a pretty good one on HotRod.com, written by uh, one of my colleagues, a guy named Steve Turner. He's done a pretty good article about the engine, and it's on there right now. It's on, I don't know if it's on Mustang 360, but it's definitely on HotRod.com. So let's go around here to the front of the engine. The powered by Ford covers, those are kind of the same as what you see on a Coyote, but this is a whole nother, a whole nother animal beyond a Coyote. So, so there you have it on the engine. So we're just about covered the bases here. So one of the coolest things, I'll kind of save it for the best for last, they took a car and tilted it on its side. And so here's that. That's uh, pretty awesome. So do a little, kind of a little walk around on that. And then I'll zoom in and show you some of the, some of the goodies. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. Oh, here's the wheels. Here's a, they have the display of the carbon fiber wheels and they even have a, you can lift off. I think the, what we were told is that uh, the weight savings on the carbon fiber versus the aluminum is uh, upwards of about 60 pounds for all four wheels. So you're saving about 15 pounds of unsprung, unsprung, unsprung weight per corner. So that's pretty, uh, pretty impressive stuff. So there's one of the aluminum wheels there and then that's the carbon fiber over there. So. And now I'm getting off track here because I was trying to show you underneath the car. So here we are back underneath the car. And uh, it's just, it's definitely the most sophisticated Mustang. It's the fastest, the quickest. It's, you know, it's, it's all singing, all dancing. You're not going to, you know, it's, it's a badass Mustang. That's for sure. And uh, it's, you know, for a front engine car and for any car, not just a front engine car. I mean, the C8 Corvette is now mid engine and that's all well and good. But this is this is uh, this is this is amazing, and for for the value for one of these things, it's going to be about you know maybe seventy five, eighty thousand if you if you say if you skip the ten thousand dollar painted stripes, and maybe and maybe decide maybe you don't need the carbon fiber package, which I would be okay with that. I don't think I would need it on my GT five hundred. You could probably get it you know get one of these cars for sticker, you know down the road for in the neighborhood of you know well under 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 seventy five thousand eight eighty to seventy five thousand. So let's zoom in here on some of the good stuff. There's just all kinds of features that they call out. Split splitter wickers with integrated underwing, engine oil cooler, brake ducts, belly pan, the front splitter, transmission oil cooler, belly pan underwing, wheel center wheel liner cooler exit aluminum front knuckles just everything tunnel cooling everything here is you know it's really cool tilting on its side you know they do this at auto shows and that kind of thing and then here's the the uh the dual clutch tramec transmission which is actually a fairly compact looking unit i mean it's not as it's it's smaller than i expected it to be so it's an interesting point that i had kind of observed 16 inch brake rotors as i mentioned and then the uh the, the oil pan is a structural member, you know, like a stressed member of the engine. And then it's got the, the X-pipe exhaust, cast steel X-pipe, high flow fuel tank, pumps in, the, pumps in the tank, which is typical for well, all S550 Mustangs have that. And then the Michelin Port Sport Cup tires, nice and plenty of width in the back, Park, electric parking brake, the control arms, rear axle temperature sensor, the torsen diff, it's, you know, torque sensing differential. That's what torsen is short for. The four mode, four mode exhaust, electric axle oil pump, rear axle oil cooler, differential oil cooler air inlet. I mean, there is just more stuff on this thing than you could shake a stick at compared to, you know, 10 years ago, or even like a 1314 GT500, which was no dog with 662 horsepower. This thing is a space shuttle compared to, compared to an S197. So, just be aware, be be wary, be be aware of that, because these things, you know, this it's 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 amazing how sophisticated this car is. It's just uh, really impressive. So, and uh, that's about it. Here's the road course we did laps on out here at the speedway. It was a pretty fun, uh, pretty fun short course. We got uh, about four or five laps on it, and then this was uh, I was in the group where we went down the drag strip. Then we were brought over to the road course. I was a little bummed out. I only got to run down the drag strip twice, but hey, can't have everything. So here's a little display for the for the event 
for uh, promoting, you know, giving a little shout out to the Speedway, which is kind of cool. And uh, I think that's about it. Here's a little overhead display, the Mustang, the GT, the 2.3 high performance EcoBoost, the Bullet, the Shelby GT350, and of course the big boy, the GT500. And that is the big boy, there's no doubt about that. So, and then over here, this shows all the, all the different, so over on this side is the, the 2.3 EcoBoost, the, the, the Focus RS powered EcoBoost, and then the GT500, and then over on this side, they have the GT350 and the Bullet. And then, um, this is kind of a cool quote. Relentless dedication to crafting the extraordinary. And that was uh, Carl Widman, a Ford Performance Global Program Engineer. So, there you have it. This is the GT500 uh, trip that I got to go on. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, what's all the usual stuff on the YouTube? Subscribe to my channel, you know, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. I always say thanks for watching. But my point is just to show the car. And it's if you're shopping for a, for a, for a seriously cool Mustang and you can uh, think you've got the scratch, then I can't imagine. I don't know what else you could ask for out of one of these cars after being on the road course with the grip and the, the way the transmission works and then going down the drag strip and all that stuff. It's basically, you know, it's basically a race car for the street that run, you know, that runs and drives like a, you know, like a, you can just drive it like a regular car, like a Focus or something. So anyway, uh, there you have it. And uh, I'll say it again. Thanks for watching.